Hey guys, uh, I'm back. I'm not dead yet. So uh, this is gonna be a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the camera in my hands and explain to you what's been going on considering uh, this morning was just right at the end of it. So now, like I said, I'm going regional if you've been following me in my other uh, social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twi uh, Snapchat, I don't do Twitter. I'm going more regional now that Costco's uh, dedicated has been going a little slower. So they have me going kind of wherever, whenever, but sort of in the Northeast. So the other day I come in and I, you know, they say, hey, where do you want to go? I don't know. And they said, hey, you want to go to Wisconsin? I said, sure. I've never been to Wisconsin. Let's go. So they give me a load to Pittsburgh, then Pittsburgh to go pick up and then go out to Wisconsin. The pickup was in um, Ohio. So I drive to Ohio. I get there. And they said, well, we don't see your load. What's your load number? I give them the number. And it turns out somebody else took that load. I don't know when, I don't know how, but somebody else took what I was supposed to take out. So I called up dispatch and I said, someone took it. So they said, okay, try something else. They took that load off me and they go to give me another load going to Aurora, Illinois, which is just west of Chicago. And I looked at the times and I said, you turn two vital in 60 seconds. Yeah. And, uh, and that said, it was supposed to pick up days ago and deliver this morning, that morning, at 5 a.m. So I sent a counter message and I said, I'll accept this load, but you have to know, it's already late. It was supposed to be delivered before I even got to it, so I don't want to be blamed for it. I sent that in, they took it off me. Okay, they don't want me to have it. And then I got this other light, other load from Sterilite, to picking up just around the corner, and I said, oh, yeah, I saw that. That was also going to Wisconsin. Delivery to Wilton, New York. Where the fuck is Wilton, New York? Oh, it's just north of Albany. I know where that is. So off I went. Instead of going west, I'm going east. So it was great. I don't have to deliver until Sunday night the 3rd. And I told them I'll be there Sunday noon. It is now Saturday at 10.30. And I'm... I don't know, 160 miles from it. So I'll deliver today. But I get up this morning and it was a little bit chillier than it has been. It got down into the 50s, which great, I love it. Falls here, yes, kicks summer right out the goddamn door. And my truck won't start. I've tried to plug in some electronics. Nah, no, wasn't happening. So I was like, okay, truck won't start. Low battery, need a jump. So I put in my breakdown call and they called me up. They said, hey, we see that your truck won't start. You know, get some information. We'll send somebody out. They'll be there within the hour. I was like, I got time. Yeah, all right, fine. It's just a little bit chilly out here, but well, I could deal. As you can see, I'm wearing a sweatshirt and now a cotton shirt. This I think is the only one I have Everything else is all summertime clothes. I'm still in summer mode. They showed up within a half an hour. 20, 25 minutes, I think, they showed up. And I was like, awesome. Apparently, the battery wasn't that dead. As soon as he hooked it up, bam, the truck started right up. I was like, this is super awesome and convenient. So, off I go. And now I'm going to be heading to Wilton, New York with a possible maybe stop in Syracuse because there's a terminal there and I want to get this battery situation set before I really do anything but I probably just let the truck idle the rest of the time I'm at a rest area in New York and they don't allow idling for anything over five tons any diesel powered engine for five tons or something like that so fine I let it shut it down. I said it's nice. Obviously, that drained my battery because of you can hear it. That noise there is the HVAC controls for the bunk stuck on full blast all the time. 
I can control the temperature, but I can't control the fan speed. Which, I don't really care most of the time, but when I shut the truck off and it's still going, okay, I can sleep through that, but once the temperature starts falling, that's gonna start blowing cold air instead of warm air. And that's kind of what woke me up this morning at first, and then I just kind of crawled farther into the sleeping bag and I said, I'm not getting out of bed, no way. But now it's colder inside the truck than it is outside the truck, which is weird. So I stepped out of the truck and went, it's actually like 65 degrees out there. It's probably 50 degrees in here. Anyway, I digress. I am now on my way. I will try and make this work as a microphone to record video. I will try and get some dash cam video going or, you know, start the video while I'm driving, kind of break up this whole sitting in place because that's what I'm doing it during the daytime now. That's why I'm holding it and going, I can move. But I'm going to, I have a couple of ideas of, of like two or three more videos that I can, I can record. Uh, shout out to everyone who's been watching. Thanks. My cousins in New York, aunts and uncles. I just found out you guys were watching me. Appreciate that. And shout out to, to John and Gabby. Congratulations again. Uh, wedding was last week, although that was a fast week that went by. Uh, hope you guys are having fun. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm going to start moseying on, on down the road. The weather is looking beautiful. It's my favorite season, guys. So, all right, man. Uh, look out for videos coming soon. I promise this time <laughs> I'm finally driving a truck and, and then I'll finally get some videos out. All right, take it easy, guys. Catch you later.